Should almost definitely wash my hair today. I'm not going to, I'm just going to set it, but... I really should. And welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be talking about hats. Well, I'm not really going to be doing that much talking. I'm just going to be showing you my personal collection of vintage styled hats and talking a little bit about why I like them. Um, I think hats are a very vintage thing. Obviously back in the day people used to wear hats almost all of the time and it's something that's sort of phased out of our sort of fashion vocabulary nowadays, which I think is kind of a shame because they are really great and very handy to have. They can protect you from the rain, they can protect you from the wind, they can protect you from the sun. They're just great. So I'm going to be showing you some of my absolute favourites and talking about why I like them and let's just get into it. Probably have to take this out. Oh. I got at a stall in Notting Hill a couple of summers ago in London and I just think it's so pretty. It's a very nice cream kind of straw designed sun hat. It's very light. Um, it's good for protecting your hair from the sun and keeping some of the heat off and it's very comfy. It sits very nicely on my head. I love the kind of asymmetrical rim that we have going on here. Um, it's just very very comfy and the light colour means that it goes with a lot of things and I think it looks really pretty with my hair now. Wow. <laughs> Speaking of sun hats. This hat is from British Retro. It is a gorgeous, really big, wide sun hat um, that just kind of sits on the top of the head and then is mainly secured with these beautiful um, ribbons. Um, you can always take out the ribbon and replace it with a different colour if you like. I really like the white. I think it's very nice and summery and beautiful. This hat is perfect for the beach if it's a very still day. This hat in the wind doesn't do so well. Um, but the beach, a garden party or other such um, excursion or event, if it's on your head and you feel like you want to take it off, you can also just let it hang on your back like so which is really nice and handy. Um, I wore this um, to pin up in the park last year and I've got a few photos of it on my Instagram and I really, really love it. It's just a quintessential like 1950s summer accessory to me. It's a whacking great big hat. My hair's going to be very interesting after trying on all of these hats, one after another. Joe held the phone for a half an hour and talked till he was blue. He didn't stop to hear a this gorgeous woolen beauty is a hat that my ex-boyfriend got for me on Valentine's Day a couple of years ago. It's really, really pretty. I love the vibrant red. I have a thing for red hats. Um, and oh my gosh, this with my hair is just <laughs> quite excellent. Um, but I love the design of this one. I love, again, the big puff. You can wear it 
so that you know you can just wear it sat straight on the head like that which looks really pretty you can wear it more kind of asymmetric which is the way that I quite like to wear it you know there's a lot of ways that you can wear this hat um, and it's really great for the cooler months, for autumn, kind of moving into winter. It doesn't protect your hair from the wind so much. Um, oh dear. But um, it will kind of protect the top of your head from the rain. I just think it's gorgeous. Look at this. is a hat that my mum gave to me. It used to be hers and now it's mine. And it is from Marks and Spencers. I really love this one. This one is one of my most worn hats. Um, I used to wear it to work quite a lot because I worked, um, some of my work duties were outside. And this is a really great one for keeping the wind and the rain off of your hair. I've gotten caught in the rain in this hat quite a few times and been very grateful for it. Um, I think it is again a wool. Let me just check. Yes, this is 100% wool. Do not wear in the rain. Huh, that's funny. <laughs> I've worn this in the rain many a time and it seems to be fine, but who knows? Maybe I've been doing the wrong thing all this time. But I love it. And again, it's red. You can see I have a thing for red hats. Life is not a sweet song. It's my conclusion that the whole entire world is long times when I'm smiling. When I ought to be sighing, to be crying for a little bit of. berets are both from a French company called Brothers and Sisters. Um, I got them while I was living up north um, because I needed more hats and they are both 100% wool and like handmade and so so beautiful. <laughs> um, they keep their shape really well and I love the gorgeous feminine detail of having the cute little bow at the back. It's just a really sweet sort of surprise when you turn your head and um, I think it's a really great way to kind of add a little bit of a girly touch to a very simple outfit. Um, I love these, they are absolutely stunning and I would love to get some more items from Brothers and Sisters. I think they're a really wonderful company and I would be very happy to support them. <laughs> oh, look at my hair. I'm all fluffy because of all the static. There we go. So I hope that you enjoyed this relatively simple and short and sweet video. I was thinking of doing a similar one for my shoe collection. So let me know if you enjoyed this format and um, if you would like to see that video by letting me know in the comments below. Um, <laughs> I just, I quite like hats and I would like to start wearing more of them. So let me know what you think. Do you wear hats? Are they a part of your vintage sort of arsenal? Do let me know. And um, don't forget that you can follow me on all of my social media. You can follow me on Instagram at a very vintage darling and you can follow me on Twitter at V Vintage Darling. I love you all so very much and I will see you in my next video. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Au revoir. Blonde and blonde and blonde and blonde and blonde. Look how pretty I'm blonde. Look at the pretty blonde. 
Look at it, look at it.